Half an hour to film. Ready, set, go. Hello, and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna tell you about my journey finding a job. So, as of about one and a half months ago, I graduated from school and I didn't get anything from the government anymore. It's normal that when you're in high school you get some kind of funding so you can live your life happily while studying. So because I'm taking a gap year I'm kind of broke. That meant I had to go and find a job but that turned out to be a little harder than I thought. So this all started about a month ago when I realized that I needed money. I started out with printing out my CV and going to the town center to find a job there. I went to the stores and restaurants and gave them my CV saying like, hey, if you want me, I'm available because I'm available for an entire year every day, like the entire day. I thought I'd get a job fairly easily. That didn't happen. I didn't hear back from anyone. So after that first round of trying to find a job, I got a temporary cleaning job at a restaurant. I worked there one and a half weeks, but that was not that much. And in the end, it didn't really earn me enough to get me going for another month. So I needed to keep looking. I went to several shops, tried some ones I have had tried before. I heard in a week or five or six, you could get a job here, maybe. Okay, so I went to a restaurant and they were like, hey, we do have two places open, but we don't think you fit that well, but we'll let you know. A week passed by and I was like, I'm gonna go and go there. So I went there and there was another boss working and he said, you can start in the kitchen next week. I went there and I worked five hours straight and then I never heard from them again. So I sent them an email saying, hey, do you still want me to work here? No, okay. So that failed. I worked there five hours and they didn't like me. They said I didn't have enough experience, which I get because I haven't worked in the kitchen before. So then I started to panic a little bit. I couldn't get a job. I didn't know where else to try and get a job. So after that whole thing with the restaurant and my old cleaning job having stopped, I suddenly didn't have anything. Well, I thought I would have. So I just tried again. So I got an email from a cinema and they were like, yeah, you can work here, but you have to work the three at night and then you'll have to see how you get home. I can't do that because the last bus leaves at one. So I wouldn't have been able to get home from the city, which sucked because I would have liked to the work there. So then I luckily heard from the cleaning job that they needed me for another week or two. So that's where I am now. I am working the cleaning job and after that I don't have a job again. I'm also helping a friend of my mom's organize our house and I'm getting paid for that as well but that's also like as soon as the house is cleaned I don't have that job either. So right now I'm looking for a steady cleaning job that I can do every week in certain hours so I have a little stability in my week and so I earn a basic amount every month. I learned that I kind of like the cleaning. I never thought I'd like it but I do. I'd also love to go back to my supermarket job but my half year of leave isn't done yet because you have to get out half a year before you can get a new contract and things like that. So at this point I'm babysitting but that depends on when the parents need me. So there are options but n none of them are really ideal which is kind of a problem. So I am still looking, <laughs> still looking for a job. I still haven't found one that I can stay at but I hope I will soon. So yeah that was my little history of the last month trying to find a job. This is what it's like to be grown up without studies or school. This is what it's like to take a gap year. Like all of a sudden you have to fix your own shit. That means getting a job, which turns out to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. The experience I had with it was that I'd walk into somewhere and I'd get the job, but that was when I was still blonde and I was still 16. I was a lot cheaper back then, because that's how it works. So yeah. Thank you for watching. This was the fifth day of Vida and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye.